Welcome back, everyone. It does feel very nice outside right now. As temperatures are currently in the upper 60s and low to mid 70s, and these temperatures are near average for this time of year. It's also been a breezy day today with the strongest wind along the Rocky Mountain front. For most of us, sustained wind speeds have been between 10 and 25 miles per hour throughout the day. That wind has been coming out of the west and northwest. And on the Great Falls Clinic Icon, we have had a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day, and that's still the case right now as we have partly cloudy skies out there. On satellite and radar, not much going on. Of course, we have partly cloudy skies throughout the state. There were a few showers in eastern Montana earlier today and still a couple stray showers in northeastern Montana right now, but most of us have been dry throughout the day. And as we go through the rest of this week, an upper level ridge is going to be in control of our weather, which means we are going to have a lot of sunshine. We're going to have mainly dry conditions and we are going to have above average temperatures for this time of year with highs generally in the 70s and the 80s. But a few spots will top out in the 90s on Wednesday, especially in central and eastern Montana. As we go through Wednesday night and into Thursday, a disturbance is going to work its way through Montana. So a few showers are possible, especially along and west of the continental divide, mainly dry conditions in central and eastern Montana. And that disturbance will cool our temperatures down a little bit for the end of the work week. Then as we head into the second half of this weekend, so Sunday, that's when the upper level ridge is going to get flattened out by a disturbance passing by our area to the north. And that disturbance will cool our temperatures back down into the 60s for Sunday and Monday. And it will give us a chance to see some showers next Sunday and Monday as well. Now for this evening and tonight, we are going to have decreasing clouds from west to east, and we are going to have mainly dry conditions throughout the entire state. Tomorrow, a little bit of clock over in eastern Montana during the morning, but for most of us, it is going to be mainly sunny and dry for the entire day tomorrow. Clear skies and dry conditions tomorrow night, and then a lot of sunshine and dry conditions in central and eastern Montana as we head into Wednesday. In western Montana, we'll have increasing clouds later in the day on Wednesday, and a few showers and isolated thunderstorms will be possible in northwestern Montana late Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. We could potentially see a shower along the Rocky Mountain front as well as that next disturbance begins to approach our area. As we go through this evening, the wind will diminish for most of us, but overnight tonight it will continue to be breezy along the Rocky Mountain front with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. For tomorrow, a breezy day along the Rocky Mountain front. And there will be a little bit of a breeze in the Cascade and Lewis and Clark County area as well, but for a lot of us, the wind really won't be much of an issue tomorrow. Sustained wind speeds generally between 5 and 15 miles per hour. And then on Wednesday, that's when that wind begins to pick up for a lot of us. Breezy conditions are expected with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. We'll continue to have breezy conditions as we head into Thursday and Friday. Tonight, lows are going to be in the upper 40s and low to mid 50s for most of us. Warmer tomorrow than it was today with high temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s. And then Wednesday will likely be the hottest day that we have for the rest of this year with high temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 80s and low to mid 90s with the hottest temperatures in northeastern Montana. Next seven days in Great Falls, a lot of sunshine and dry conditions through Saturday with those above average temperatures. And then a chance of showers and cooler temperatures as we head into Sunday and Monday. In Haver, sunny, dry, and warm for the rest of this week. And then cooler with a few showers possible as we head into Sunday and Monday.